Hello everybody, this is Pedro Scott Black here and welcome back to another Doctor Who DVD review. Today in this Doctor Who DVD review I'm going to be reviewing the talents of Wang Chiang. So without further ado, let's begin this DVD review. So up here we have BBC DVD, Doctor Who, the talents of Wang Chiang, uh, special edition. Uh, then down here we have three Laser Dragon, uh, Mr. Sin used in the climax. Then here we have uh, the BBC DVD logo, DVD code thing. Uh, Doctor Who, picture of Tom Baker there, the Talon of the Wang Chiang, BBC and Second Insane logo. Then for the back of the DVD cover itself, we have pictures from the story up here. Uh, then here we've got uh, a few miscellaneous things, uh, the uh, blurb, the special features, loads more miscellaneous things which includes a uh, PG rating which says uh, parents are guided as general viewing but some scenes may be unsuitable for young children. Uh, then down here we have its running time which is 146 minutes approximately. Then for the blurb itself, Doctor Who starring Tom Baker, the talons of Wing Chiang by Robert Holmes. Death stalks the, the fog-bound streets of Victorian London. Young women are going missing. Horribly mutilated bodies are found floating in the Thames, and criminal gangs terrorise the innocent. At the heart of this tangled web sits the mysterious Li He Sen Chang, sorcerer and hypnotist, and his grotesque sidekick, the all too lifelike ventriloquist stummy, Mr. Sin. The Doctor dons the stalker and creeps to seek out the sinister force lurking in the shadows of the metropolis. For the talons of Wang Chiang are reaching out to shred the human race. And then here is the special features. Uh, pause if you want to read them off. Or read them. Uh, then for the image itself we have where this one would go which looks like... And then here we have CD2 and then CD3, uh, disc 2 and disc 3, and then here we have a booklet. So here we have uh, a bit of bio in the story. Really, really awesome picture of the DVD cover here, absolutely love it. And then here we have uh, a bit about uh, the cast, uh, commentary. Uh, Louise Jameson, John Bennett, uh, Christopher Benjamin, Philip Hinchcliffe, David Maloney. Uh, production to titles, coming soon trailer. This 2, The Last Hurrah, Moving On, The Faith in the Future, Now and Then, Look East, Victoria and uh, Shinerice. Uh, that word there which you can't even see. Uh, musical, Lion House of Victorian Chinatown, Photo Gallery, uh, Radio Times listings. Who's Doctor Who, Blee Peter Theatre, Behind the Scenes, Philip Hinchcliffe, Interview, Trials and Continuity, Counter Time Level 6, Fragile Gallery, and Easter Egg. And then there's a look at the chapter points. We've got more pictures from the top up here, the story up here. Time of the Rain Trying, chapter points, and as you can see, it's a six parter. Now, what are my overall thoughts and opinions on? The talent of Wayne Shire. In my personal opinion, this is one of my favourite Doctor Who stories of all time. The opening of this story, if I can remember correctly, uh, is somebody finding a corpse floating down the Thames. Um, the opening of this story with, if I can remember correctly, somebody finding a corpse floating down the Thames is a wonderfully creepy opening of a great mood which leads to a classic piece of Doctor Who with much of the same elements. The characters in this story are brilliant, well, apart from the rat. Jago, Whitefoot, Mr. Sin, Lee Heath and Shay, Magnus Greel and the two leads are my favourites. Jago and Whitefoot are great and well fleshed out characters who uh, have captured Whovians for decades by now, which has even led to them getting their own big finished spin-off series, despite them uh, sometimes being racist assholes to the Chinese at some point, 
uh, along with deciding to go get some muffins where I saw some witnessing crazy shit going down which they call magic, these characters are incredible and probably were at home's most iconic characters. Mr. Sin, a quote puppet uh, by Li Hee Sin Chang or the Pecking Homunculus is an awesome and magnificent creepy villain slash sidekick which, again, is another awesome character by Mr. Holmes. Pity became ragged on the finale. Li Hi Sin Chang, again, is another great creation of the world at home, whom is a sidekick to the main villain of the story from the Flash Screen. Wait, so Mr. Sin is a sidekick to Chang, who is a sidekick to Greel. SIDEKICKCEPTION! <laughs> and finally, Magnus Greel, yet another great, you guessed it, awesome villain to this story. He was probably one of my favourite villains ever, along with Marvick Chen, Guardian of the Solar System from the Dernix Master Plan. Uh, and then a positive to this story is the production values. Throughout this story, they are fantastic, giving this story a great atmosphere and bring to and brings to life some great oriental oriental themed sets. The writing throughout this story is excellent and hosts many great concepts by Robert Holmes. Like I said, this story is one of my all-time favourites. However, like my other favourite stories, like the Power of the Daleks and the Daleks Master Plan, this tale is not without its problems. Like I said earlier, Jago and Lightfoot can be pretty racist. Example, more wrongs, Mr. Jago? The rat, first of all, just, just watch it. So, it's blue for goodness sake, what the hell? And my other problem is that it's thin. I'm going to rate the colours of Rain Chang a 9.5 out of 10, and it is definitely one of my favourite Doc 2 stories of all time. Probably my top 5, might even be my third favourite Doc 2 story of all time. And that pretty much concludes my DVD review of the talent of Wang Chang. Like, that, comment, subscribe. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Pitch Black, the material.